the number of times that Sonic Fiend got advantage because he only attacked you and you were able to do anything about it was pretty big there. Three, two, but neither of those one, characters are on screen go. now. Instead, we have Kirby vs. Lila. Yeah. Right, Dijon's actually done pretty good in the past. I think it was like a second time being on our stream, but I'm not 100% certain. Uh, yeah, we, we saw a lot of new Vanquisher from uh, Fight Club uh, last week. And uh, I think uh, a few weeks before that, too. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Dijon Mark has gotten like top eight before. I think it's the first time he's gone to. Yeah, I really like the fact that Neo Vanquish is using uh, range uh, this much. It's really important to actually like, keep in mind that Kirby has good movement on the ground. But uh, if you stay out of his burst range, it can be really tough for him to come in. But that's the thing though, you have to stay outside of his burst range. If you're at a point where he can actually punish you, uh, you're gonna get hit a lot and you should probably keep away. It gets a lot better. Great roll read, just hit it a little bit too early, and a terrible off the ledge option. Dijon Mark getting a super early kill. I'm not really sure what happened to Neo Vanquisher, whether he decides to let go slash jump, both of which have almost no invincibility, or if the invincibility was just that low because he's barely off the stage. But Dijon Mark taking a pretty dang early lead with Rock and Stone. Right. Okay, I like this uh, juggle from Dijon happening right now. Oh. All right, gonna eat a back air, new stock. But he did some all right damage, 60 damage. Uh, it's gonna be difficult for Neo Vanquisher to like land his like forward airs because of Kirby's height. So the stuff that he's usually able to use for keep away is gonna be a little bit more difficult. I like the read that Dijon was trying to go for, but then messed up. Uh, you know, still in the driver's seat here though, kind of pressuring his shield like this. Not overextending, uh, a small overextension, but again, the height helping him out. That Nair missed him. Kirby known for low profile. Kirby with the, lot of the dash in block. Yeah, all right. New English are taking a little bit more of a more offensive uh, sort of approach here, less passive. Uh, unfortunate. He, he read that something was going to happen, but uh, was too close for it still. Nice back air, I really like that. Uh, he he kind of forced the roll and uh, went for the kill option, so I really, really appreciate that from Dijon. I like, I really like the way he's mixing up his approaches. He's like dashing in, uh, and just like the options, he's just keeping him guessing because he's been going in for a lot of shields or grabs, but then like he breaks that pattern up with dash attack. Yeah. I can also say like he's using the fact that uh, I like that many great options to actually hit low in front of him. Tilts. And that requires him to stand still, mm -hmm. which can be really tough to do against a character like Kirby. If you're afraid of him just running in. Yeah. Yeah. Dijon playing like a really good range game. He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna poke every once in a while, but I'm gonna try to make him scared that he's not gonna want to try to punch me unless he's absolutely sure that I'm, that he's gonna get a punch off of it. <laughs> Okay, I don't agree with that up B, but it worked out, I guess. I definitely don't agree with that up B. Yeah, they definitely made up B a lot more safe. Uh, this is probably the safest iteration of it. Like, it's still a risk, but uh, it definitely gets a bit of a helping hand from online. So I really like uh, the Neo Vanquisher didn't take a break there. Of course, I think by probably... Jesus, man. Jeez! All right, Dijon taking game one. Oh man, I like that freeze frame on the kill actually a lot. Like when uh, when Kirby like gets the kill and he's standing inside the uh, thingy, he looks so happy. Just look at him. Yeah. For like half a second. <laughs> Wow, I, I missed yeah, that I don't, first kill. <sighs> Hilarious. I, I, I don't again. even know like what happened. I think he just like, I'm assuming he let go. I, I 
have to assume you let go because if you jumped, well, I don't feel like you would have gotten stage bike for it. Either that or invincibility frames right now, like mad early, but that would have been really fast. I feel for that, so you probably let go of the lunch. That was I really like that. The back air punish. He just Mecca's really made really him good scared. Move to Kirby, just, bro. just really scared him. Well, our back air is really freaking good. Ready? That is definitely like one of those old brawl strats. Yeah. This is his only thing. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, he does have that poopy air going back. Alright, so we're going to Two, one, Smashville. Go! Space from Dijon. Just getting in like those uh, the solid hits. All right, caught the the air dodge with the dash attack. So I want to see like different habits of trying to get out of the grab if he ends up in one. Um, I like the fact that Neo Vanguisher like before you know wasn't opting to go for too many grabs, but we saw in the latter half of the first game that like he was like, okay, I kind of have to go for like these sort of things. I won't get the most off of them, but at least I'm like getting the hits in and I'll push them off. Fantastic. I really like just how he's just standing there menacingly. Swinging too much. Read the roll, tried to punish it with dash attack, but did it a little bit. Pulled the trigger too early. Didn't get punished for it though. This is like an Ooh. issue I have with a lot of players is like when you are swinging this much and your opponent is standing there They're not afraid of approaching. They're looking for you to just like keep doing that Because they're like, okay, this guy is just putting hitboxes out and eventually he's gonna have end lag and He's gonna do one that I can actually punish So let me just wait until he uh, he tires himself out and then I'll just come in and swing Nice, I don't think, yeah, it's gonna kill, alright Apparently so and new Mega just swinging way too much. I don't really agree with the strategy, honestly. Well, normally those swings would hit taller characters. Yeah, that's all. That's like even yeah. more reason that you should be trying to play like a lot more passively and try not to, to just swing because Kirby. Kirby doesn't have a great burst oh, range. Great back air, honestly. falling to the ledge, hit it extra low, and you know, giving him a. Giving him some footing in this match. Oh what boy. does he get? Oh, this is the arrow. Which is not a great. And a really oh. shitty haircut. <laughs> you have to punish oh, the that's definitely. That's definitely a post COVID haircut. He's like, I'm in, uh, I'm in month eight of quarantine. Yeah. My hair is uh, has grown this long. And I'm not getting a haircut until, I'm done, until it's either tripping over it or we're done with this shit. And I feel bad. Oh, see, so he has yeah. a tiny sword. I just noticed. Yeah. Bro, why does he have a tiny sword? That's like Falcon's gun. It also squishes whenever he ducks. Bro, you don't need to fully charge it either. You can just like, you can just like shoot off a half charge. I'll probably kill. All Much right. Like what percent was he at? He was pretty high. He went pretty far. He's at 154. I do like that uh, forward air change. They made that worth landing. And they increased the knockback on it a little bit, right? Yeah. I like how you're trying to like, you're definitely on the, I'm not playing Kirby ever again though, but it feels, it's, it feels like you're trying to convince yourself to play him a little bit. I know the character very well and I appreciate the things he's got him. Doesn't mean I think he's worth playing. That's very nice. This match is a great example, though, of like how a person swinging way too much is really hurting himself. Because Kirby doesn't have a great burst range. He does not have a great range where him approaching is unreactable. But he's just standing there and he's allowing Neil Vanquisher to just time the swing. And each time he swings while Kirby is just inside of the range where it's punishable, he gets a lot of damage and a lot of uh, easy and a lot of easy uh, stage advantage as well. Honestly, worth the attempt. 
Make the guess. Wow. Oh, baby. Is that a regrab? The beggar was, was inside the ground. Kirby yeah. Wins. Yeah, I think that was a regrab. Yeah, that was definitely a regrab. Gee. Okay. Landing strong back air on a regrab ledge, that's uh, you don't you don't see that very often. Oh no, he jumped into it. Okay, he went for uh, like Nair. That's a little bit more understandable. All right, well, Dijon moving on 2-0. I respect it. All right, and I gotta step away for a hot second. I'll be right back. Yeah. Next up is gonna be Garatini versus Infinite Deletion. Pack versus K-Roll. All right, Infinite Deletion versus the Ghirardelli Square. <laughs> 